Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Tianka, and if you like all things lifestyle, beauty, and doing things yourself, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. And make sure to turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified when I drop a new video. Okay, so today I'm doing my middle child's hair and I thought I wanted to, you know, do straight parts in the back, but I went back to my normal, just part in any which way and just making sure that those parts are, you know, neat. I did like drench her hair because you'll see like water dripping down her neck and everything, but I drenched her hair because it just needed a lot of moisture. And I'm just doing a simple protective style to last for a week while she's at her dad house and you know just getting her hair done next weekend but i do have a more detailed video on my channel in regards to how i do this exact style so if you haven't checked that video out i will link it below as well as on the top of the screen so i'm going to be plaiting her hair I parted it in her part. I put some grease that I did mix with wild growth oil. And after the grease, I went over with the um, jam just to make her part a little bit more neat. And I'm just braiding it down. You can do a two strand twist, but I feel as though the braid helps the um, weave hair to stay in and not slip out. And y'all, this little method that I've been doing with my girl's hair, it is really helping. Look at that. Y'all see my baby growth? When I tell y'all I couldn't get nothing back here, like a couple months ago, I couldn't get nothing back there. Like, her middle was non-existent. I wish I had before pictures, but I really don't. I wasn't taking no pictures of her. Her hair that was little in the middle. Someone did tell me not to call her hair short. You know, and I agree. So my baby hair is not short. It is progressing and growing. So um, the uh, the lady, she also mentioned the pink comb that I use. Not this one, but the other one. She said maybe I shouldn't, you know, use the smaller teeth on her hair. And I use that comb for part. And sometimes I'll go ahead and, you know, just comb out the hair. But in this video, I really tried to use the lighter pink with the bigger side um, the, the wider sides teeth on the comb. And if you're watching this video and you know that you commented, please let me know how you feel about this comb. I like, you know, smaller things in my hand. I don't know how to work the really big combs with the, the wide teeth, but I know that they will be good on her hair. But just let me know how you feel about this comb. I am using the wide side to comb her hair out and then the smaller side just to, you know, hold the hair back in place. And y'all don't be talking about my combs in the comments because the teeth is missing. When I tell y'all these specific combs, like I have multiple colors, you know, they like four for a dollar. So I have multiple colors and every single one there's teeth missing and it's not from my hair it's not from her hair it's not from the babies you know it's from my my oldest daughter her hair is super thick but soft and how do it break the teeth like that i have no clue but yeah the teeth always break with my own um, with these type of combs so here i'm just doing the same process parting greasing putting a little jam and braiding it down all around the back so I'm going to just let this play out really quick and I'll see y'all in the next clip. Okay, here is the bag. Um, the front will just have two little braids and I'm going to do two ponytails with a zigzag part. If you've been watching my channel thus far, you know I struggle with the middle parts. And honestly, y'all, I had so much to do. Like, I had to record this video, start working on my video for tomorrow, and then I have to do some PowerPoints for my sister. So, yeah, I had a lot to do. And I wasn't trying to struggle and take time trying to perfect a middle part. So I'm making two twisties on the side and then the um, top will be in two ponytails.
I had another comment where they were saying that they didn't know how to keep their kids still or, you know, my daughter sits really still. Now, I commented back and I said that I use like snacks and TV and toys to help keep her still. But honestly, my girls have been getting their hair done since they were six months and up. So I think they are accustomed or used to, you know, sitting still and getting their hair done. Plus, I'm not with all the movement, so I'm quick to, you know, give them a little pop or yell at, like, sit still and please stop playing with me. So, yeah, I really don't play with these kids when it comes to sitting still and making my job a little bit harder. So, yeah, um, the snacks. Right now, she's playing with um, toys and she has the iPad. No snacks today, but snacks, they do come in handy. I have a whole snack cart <laughs> specifically for the kids in my home. But, and me too, because I, <laughs> I love snacks too, but they are mainly for the kitties. So here I'm just working on the ponytail up top and I'm really just trying to see how I want it to go, you know, shape her face a little bit. I thought I wanted a swoop right there, but you'll see later on. I just brush it all back because the other side needs to be brushed back too. So, and it may seem like I just put a lot of jam on there, but I'll tell you, I promise y'all, it wasn't a lot. Okay, so this part here is where you may want to revert back to the other video because I feel like it's more up closer and like the view or the, the, the frame is closer up where you can actually see what I'm doing with this crochet needle. So I just take a strand of hair. I will try to insert a picture of the hair, but I just take a strand of hair, I cut it in two, and I just feed it through the crochet needle and pull it through the hair and just twist down like a regular two strand twist. 
I will say this part, you do have to kind of like hide the braid or tuck the braid. And I'll see if I could do a video on how I actually do that. But you don't want the braid to be poking out of the side because that would defeat the purpose, you know. But yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and continue around with this until we get to the top two ponytails. Because I don't cut those. So I'm going to show y'all how I do the top two ponytails. Okay, so here I'm just taking one whole strand. I'm not cutting it. Remember that. Um, looping it through the hair and the crochet needle. And then I'm just measuring to make sure both sides are the same length. Then taking one side, splitting that into two, and then wrapping it around the hair. Now, right here, you can wrap it around to hide the base if you are not going to use like ballies or anything to cover that. But I am using Bali, so I took it from around the base of the ponytail and just wrapped the braids and, you know, just put the little barrettes on it. And then I did cover the base with two Bali's. It's the smile for me. She's so cute. Look at her pizza. Hold on, wait. Look. Too stinking cute. 